explain how rollback mechanisms are implemented in CD. Rollback mechanisms in continuous deployment are crucial for reverting to a previous version of an application when issues are detected in the current version. Still, there are few rollback mechanisms like automated rollback script, version tagging, traffic routing, database rollback, monitoring and alerts, testing in isolation, postmortem analysis. So, we will see what is this automated rollback script. So, CD pipeline often include automated rollback scripts or procedures that can be triggered when issues are detected. This script are designed to reverse the deployment by redeploying the previous version of the application. So, in that way, we can easily roll back the version. Version tagging. Each deployment in CD is versioned and tagged, making it easy to identify and switch back to a specific known working version if problem arises. Traffic routing. Load balancers and routing mechanisms can be configured to quickly switch traffic back to the previous version of the application in case of issues with the new version. Database rollback. If database schema changes are part of the deployment, database rollback scripts can be used to revert the schema to the previous state. Monitoring and alerts. Continuous monitoring in production environment is essential for quickly detecting issues. When problems are detected, alerts are triggered and notified to the team and then team can initiate the rollback process. Testing in isolation. Before deploying to the entire production environment, new versions are often tested in isolation, for example, in staging environment. When issues are detected during testing, the deployment to the wider audience is halted and rolled back. Postmortem analysis. So, after a rollback, a postmortem analysis is typically conducted to understand the root cause of the issue. The analysis helps prevent similar problems in future deployments. So, these are the rollback mechanisms which are implemented part of CD.